that boils down to what really is high availability. And that's kind of related to cloud. If you get three people in a room and ask them what cloud is, you get four different answers. And with high availability, I'm afraid it's the same way. But in, in general, there are some trends. People with high availability, they expect to be able to ac access to their data uh, all the time, 24-7, 365, no downtime, essentially. And that's, that's the major focus people have with high availability when, when they approach high availability. But of course, as you mentioned, there are a number of subtopics with high availability, not the least of which is you have to address reliability. You have to have a highly maintainable system in order to be able to ensure when there are problems that you can recover from them very quickly and, and be notified more importantly. So you have to have a proactive element with your high availability solutions as well. And that's where our MySQL Enterprise Monitor comes in with, with uh, providing our customers capabilities to, to monitor and get alerts when, when things happen. And, and not just MySQL Enterprise Backup uh, and MySQL Enterprise Monitor and those kinds of solutions, but there's also third-party solutions out there that'll help you with, with those sort of things as well. Well, that's interesting. Uh, they were announced this morning that the majority of downloads were for Windows clients, and yet the, the majority of installations that we keep track of are for platforms like uh, Linux and Solaris and those types of things. So with respect to how are we going to address uh, running on Windows, we've, in the past, with MySQL, it's been a, a platform-independent operating system uh, database system, and so we can run on just about anything with a simple compilation. Now, because of the way that things are packaged a little differently with Windows, of course, well, the a lot of MySQL features aren't necessarily very Windows-centric. They're very generic. So we're working on ways to improve our, the Windows experience for our Windows customers. Uh, the work I did with the MySQL Cloud uh, chapter in the, the book uh, was along the lines of how does MySQL play in the, the, the cloud, specifically the Amazon cloud. And the real short answer is it works great. Uh, in fact, there's really nothing special that you have to know or to do to use MySQL in the cloud. It's, so that's a testament to how well we've developed MySQL, how, how robust it is and how, how truly platform independent we've, we've reached uh, that level. Uh, so some of the things you have to consider when you use MySQL on the cloud are not so much as limitations, so much as advantages. For example, the rapid scale-out capability of the Amazon cloud, uh, the, EC, uh, the, the S3 support, the EC2 and all that, means you can scale out uh, MySQL instances uh, within seconds, whereas before, of course, you had to start with hard iron and, and load the operating system and so on and whatnot, but with, with EC2, it's just rapid scale-out performance. And I think that's where people will see the greatest benefit of using MySQL in the cloud. Well, with MySQL cluster, of course, inside the cluster, we, we call that sometimes internal replication, uh, where inside the cluster you have multiple replicas of your data, and that's replicated amongst the, the nodes in the cluster. Uh, one form of node in the cluster, of course, is a data node, what we call a data node. That's where your data resides, and a group of data nodes becomes responsible for a replica. So you can have multiple replicas, and therefore you have multiple data nodes, and they are replicating the data within the cluster. So we have high availability solution within the cluster. However, if you have multiple sites, for example, and you want high availability amongst your sites, then you can have a cluster at one site and a cluster at another, and replicate the changes between those clusters using MySQL replication or what we call external replication. So it's very interesting how you, we have two forms of replication and yet combined with multiple cluster installations, we now provide a high availability solution that uses the both replication within cluster and of course MySQL replication. The normal use of scale out, scale out reads but when you are using that technique, the traditional technique for scaling out reads, uh, you only scale out the reads. And the reason for this is that writes on the master have to be propagated to the slaves and applied there as well. To handle scale out of writes, you have to use a different technique called charting. In charting, you separate the data into different chunks called shards, and you have to distribute the queries, the write queries, to the different shards depending on where you need the data. 
managing a sharded environment is more difficult because you have to consider the queries. You can't support arbitrary joins, for instance. And you have to consider how you distribute the, the queries, the right queries, to the different shards for, efficient, for efficiency and high performance. In the beginning, uh, MySQL had statement-based replication, which works great for many situations. When you are using statement-based replication, you actually send the real statement over to the slave, which is then executed there. Unfortunately, unfortunately, this doesn't work perfect in all cases, so for that reason we introduced something called row-based replication. What row-based replication does is to send over the actual data being inserted into the table, and this means that you can basically replicate anything. It doesn't matter where your data com comes from, it will be replicated properly to the slave anyway. We, we very, very much want to have uh, more contributions, um, especially in the replication code. And how we often do it is that we have one person inside the replication team who is responsible for sort of driving the process. And then the, he talks with the contributor and make sure that the patch uh, works and we all often need to adjust it to how the MySQL code works and, and also for our future development. And then when he has rewritten the patch so it fits into the MySQL server, then we have the two code reviewers and then we put it in as a normal patch. We often got um, questions about how do we set up a replication, especially in complex scenarios for high availability and scale out. And this book is a, is a way to uh, transfer this information in a, in, a, in a better way so that we, well, we get less questions and, and people can read it um, in the book.